thank you for for the heads up in the chat. Um, so. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for joining us. As already mentioned, I am I work in the IT field. I am head of IT or IT manager in a multinational company. I am not uh, uh, using uh, actually any of these for uh, for work, but uh, as it happens for several of us IT professionals, uh, IT is also an hobby for us. And uh, uh, well, uh, Wiki Wikibase uh, Media Wiki and Semantic Media Wiki is basically my side project or project for my free time. Uh, so I am basically here in this room for uh, sharing my my experience with you. I am, as mentioned before, not an expert, nothing certified, nothing else, just a, a curious user and a curious administrator of the MediaWiki instance. And uh, so here I am to basically tell you my story of uh, the story, why I looked into, into a way to structure data into our Wikibase installation. Uh, how and why I decided originally to use Wikibase, how I implemented it, and after all, I, how I discovered that uh, back to square one, I should have started with um, with uh, getting back to Semantic Media Wiki and uh, really use it. So this is basically the, the, the reason for the presentation and what we will see it. So uh, where, where I started, basically, I started uh, with uh, looking for a way to integrate data and to structure data into our um, uh, MediaWiki instance. And um, the, originally, I, of course, looked into Cargo, into Wikibase, into Semantic Media Wiki. But uh, um, I, originally, it seemed to me that the, the, the better solution would have been to use Wikidata simply to, to access data, uh, to contribute the data that we needed specifically if they were not into Wiki, Wiki, Wikidata immediately, and to basically gather data from it. But um, as you can see in the um, in the citation I put into the right side, I had a cold shower when I discovered that actually projects outside the um, the um, the the um, um, Wikipedia and uh, and uh, all the, the projects cannot actually ac access to Wikidata. Uh, data. So I under understood that I needed to set up my own uh, Wikibase. Uh, so that's, uh, that is the reason why I started to look into, into Wikibase. Uh, for several reasons I am not going to listen to list here. We didn't go for the um, Docker prepared images, but I went on with the, um, with the installation from scratch. Um, and uh, so I, I prepared a, um, an environment where we had two different uh, instances of, of MediaWiki. We basically went for the same uh, setup that uh, um, Wikidata and Wikipedia, Wikipedia are doing, meaning one site that acts as uh, basically a database or a repository for all the data and the other um, wikis or in this case a single wiki that is looking into into data from that um, instance so we set up two uh, media wiki instances in one uh, we installed the, the um, uh, both the repository and the client parts of the wikibase uh, um, extension, while in the other one, we all installed the client and, of course, as the, the reason for this presentation later on, the semantic media wiki there. Um, one of the reasons of the separation of the two um, uh, instances, well, first of all, was that I just wanted to copy what was already done, because uh, since I was inexperienced at the beginning, I wanted to do something that was already tested, basically already working. And the, the other reason is that uh, uh, it might be possible, uh, it is maybe a long shot, but it is possible that uh, the, the wiki base, the repository wiki base installation might be used in the future, not only for, uh, for our 
uh, own wiki, but also as a, an open data provider for, for other third party users. Uh, so the reason, so it, um, it made sense at the beginning to have uh, the, <clears throat> to have different, uh, uh, a, separate, a strict separation between data and, uh, and presentation, let's say, even if in the case of MediaWiki is not 100% uh, like this, like in a, in a usual uh, client server application. So this was the, um, the, the setup where I originally started, uh, as mentioned in the client instance, uh, uh, Semantic MediaWiki came, Media came later on. Uh, Wikibase, of course, have great advantages. Um, the, um, when the configuration was sorted out, uh, not easy, basically, to say uh, to saying this because there there was some lack of uh, documentation on the on the Wikibase part, uh, and uh, I think uh, we as a community uh, did a, gr a great job to to improve the documentation in the last year or so since I started uh, working with MediaWiki in my in with B Wikibase. In my opinion, the um, documentation improved uh, a lot. Uh, anyway, after uh, having installed and configured all the um, all the, the two instances, uh, getting uh, data from the repo repository instance to the client is very easy, both using the, the magic wording and also Lua scripting is very good integrating, integrated and the, um, the, media, the wiki base Lua extension is uh, very rich and allows a lot of, um, of uh, functions and possibility to extract data. Uh, of course, another advantage is that uh, wiki base, uh, even if the, users, the user might not uh, realize this, actually wiki base is already widely known because it is the, the engine running Wikidata. So there's a chance that uh, um, users contributing to our Wikibase instances instance actually are already not already know how to use it because they know Wikidata. So this is another point that uh, uh, is of course very important. Finally, uh, the API for Wikibase is um, clearly documented. It maybe lacks some uh, some return codes, but uh, basically the use is documented, clearly documented. It basically works like the um, the MediaWiki standard API, so it can be handled with uh, standard tools that are used into the um, uh, into the MediaWiki environment. Uh, so these are, of course, advantages of Wikibase. Those are clear and uh, present. Uh, after using Wikibase for a little while, I understood that actually we missed uh, some uh, um, queries capability, meaning uh, um, let's put apart, of course, the, all the Sparkle endpoint and all the, the, the tools you can use to, to, uh, to make queries outside the, um, the data. The fact is that uh, querying data on a, a connected uh, um, media wiki instance is not that easy. Especially, uh, we discovered that it was uh, almost impossible to have reversed query, meaning uh, getting, uh, um, basically getting uh, what links here to, a, to an item in, uh, in Wikibase. Uh, a, a practical example I, am, may, I made here is that uh, in our Wikibase instance, uh, we usually, um, or we documented a lot of television episodes uh, in, in items, and of course, a part of these television episodes are the, um, the, the, the typical couple of a performer, an actor, or an actress to a fantasy character that is um, into, the, into that specific television episode. Of course, it's very easy for the single episode to get out this data for the single one, but it was extremely difficult or maybe impossible uh, for Wikibase for starting from a performer, for instance, getting all the, the list of characters he interpreted and the, um, the episodes where he acted. There is uh, maybe a very basic 
um, example, but uh, it uh, makes uh, clear where the problem we find and where where basically the best the best the the worst problem we found lied. Um, to be honest, there is a discussion ongoing about having a Lua function that uh, um, it is called, as you see there, the get backlinks. Uh, so it should work more or less as uh, what links here. A type of function. Uh, there is an ongoing discussion on Fabricator, but uh, I have followed this discussion for a little while, but it seems to me it, this is nothing we can expect uh, very soon. Uh, hopefully it will be implemented in the future, but uh, uh, it doesn't seem to me we do have a clear roadmap to it. So, uh, to solve that problem, I explained you before, and uh, of course others along the same way. Um, at some point, uh, I am uh, I was concerned that maybe um, Wikibase was not the correct. Uh, um, product for us after all. So the possibility would have been that we had to throw away all the job with all the, the, the everything we done with, with Wikibase and uh, basically starting from scratch. Um, semantic, media, media, semantic Media Wiki was something I had a look at at the beginning, but uh, for various reasons it didn't seem at the time the right tool for us. So at the beginning it was not uh, exactly what we wanted to, or, or the way we wanted to structure our data. Um, so after I, I discovered that drawback in Wikibase, I wanted to, I got back to my steps and I, I had another look to Semantic Wiki, Media, Wiki, Media Wiki. And uh, at that point I had the choice to choose if to really uh, throw everything away, what we did with the semantic with, with Wikibase and starting from scratch with uh, SMW. Uh, another point, of course, since I didn't know SMW, I I, st I I stopped looked at it when I discarded it. Basically, I wasn't even sure that it might be had it might have um, additional drawbacks or other drawbacks that I was not aware of. So I was, <clears throat> sorry, I was a little bit in, um, in a strange situation where I had a lot of work already done on Wikibase, but the, the, the perspective of throwing everything away and starting from scratch. Actually, uh, after thinking of it for a few days and cooling my head off, I discovered that, in fact, I didn't need to choose about the two because uh, while the two tools, Wikibase and Semantic Media Wiki, are very often presented as an alternative, as a, as a tool, tools to uh, structure data and include data into uh, media wiki instance the fact is they are not the same thing they might work with the same concept behind but they are not the same tool and uh, the idea struck me that actually it was not necessary to choose between one of the two but i could have used both of them so uh, i started to play around with the idea for a little while and uh, I um, uh, I had a test installation, so I tried another. Um, I had a ton of test installation, by the way, before going productive. But uh, I I set up the, um, uh, the the and once again another test, small test server at home, and I fired up another couple of media wiki installation with Wikibase, and then I tried to install Semantic Media Wiki on the. Um, media wiki instance where i already had the client part of the wikibase extensions and from a technical point of view if everything worked perfectly and so there it started the long journey on um, um, on integrating integrating the two tools so basically uh, what um, uh, we we now have with this system is to have to store all the data basically in Wikibase, but 
uh, use the data hosted to the Wikibase, not only to present data in a human readable form to the user, but also uh, at the same time using the same data to create uh, uh, data that are also, also meaningful to SMW. In that case, um, and be careful, this doesn't mean that the user had to insert data twice, but when the users insert all the data in Wikibase and the system is set up properly, all the data are mining, are mined from, from them, from there, and then constructed in a way that are meaningful both for a human reader and for the SMW parser within the, within the MediaWiki uh, client instance. So this was my plan in a very general sense. Um, in, in details, how the plans look, the plan look like actually is uh, basically seen from two different uh, point of perspective. First of all, the structure. Uh, the first thing is, of course, to understand that uh, um, Wikibase has properties and uh, Semantic Media Wiki has properties. So somehow these two properties need to be uh, integrated or connected in uh, at least in a basic way in order not to, in order to, to, to maintain a logical uh, connection between the two. So not to have uh, one property there and another pro property here and the two are not actually speaking to one another. Um, again, this should not be done manually, but this should be done automatically, of course, in order to, first of all, reduce manual work, reduce possible, hap, um, possible uh, human error, of course, when you type too much, and uh, simplify the process also of uh, uh, managing the properties in two places, but basically manage properties in just one place. F on the other side, um, the content, uh, the user can, of course, manually add his own SMW uh, labels and properties on, in the context while he or she types within, but wherever possible, uh, it should be a task for Lua scripting to get uh, data from Wikibase and properties from Wikibase and create meaningful SMW string into the Wikibase. So, um, at, uh, at, uh, in the best case scenario, everything should be set up in, in a single place and everything, everything should work uh, automatically without too much user intervention. And in this case, uh, the, the final idea would be that the user or insert the data once in Wikibase instance and automatically it gets the data into the Wikibase instance, of course, to be consumed, and also properties in SMW already set up, ready to be queried also in different ways that are maybe impossible uh, or not convenient or simply not convenient in, uh, in Wikibase. So, um, just a, um, an example of how the structure looks like. Uh, what I did when I set up, uh, as you see in the um, in the simple, another very simple example on the on the right side, uh, when we set up a property in um, Wikibase, uh, it, the property also has a link with uh, Semantic Media Wiki. In this case, specifically, you can see that we created another property that's, that uh, it is uh, um, quite clearly named S SMW has type. And in this property, we set the type of the SMW, meaning when this um, property is used into the, into the uh, client instance, automatically the script know to get uh, a property, and that property is automatically configured in the uh, wiki bay in the in the client instance of the media wiki with this SMW type. This is not done manually, but this is done automatically. So what I did is to create uh, was to create a template in the client. Uh, uh, wiki in media wiki instance in that template for each uh, uh, SMW property automatically 
takes the type from the corresponding Wikibase property and put it in automatically into the page. So uh, in the following page, just a fragment of a, a basic uh, uh, Lua function I use to do this. As you can see, um, this uh, function is simply getting the data of the, of course, the, the P49 you see here is simply this property. Uh, also getting the property from uh, uh, the type of the SMW property from the corresponding Wikibase property and write it into the property definition into the client SMW Wikibase install media wiki installation. In this case, of course, um, you see there is no uh, manual work for the user because uh, uh, this is done automatically. The user also only have to um, put the template into the property definition. This is now done manually, but it can be automated. I simply still hadn't had the time to, to think about it and to implement it, but this, this might be done uh, automatically. But already at this stage is enough that the user put a template into the property, into the to SMW property definition in the client um, media week installation with the name of the property, and then automatically its uh, uh, type is assigned. And uh, uh, of course, a modification in this property or in the in the SMW type is automatically transported to the um, to the SMW property definition in the client wiki base. That was for the structure. For the count on code for the content, uh, of course, I already had um, functions getting information from the uh, repo Wikibase, and uh, I started making a modification to these uh, functions in order to insert uh, a switch or, or an option, uh, how you want to call it, um, that allow the user to request the function with an output that is pure. Uh, let's say pure link in, into the sort of double bracket with the name of the page for Wikibase, or having a link that also has the um, attached property. So um, uh, this, first of all, allows selectivity because you can, uh, in the same function, you can have either an output that is pure uh, Wikicode or Wikicode with SMW properties. Um, and we can enable SMW properties automatically in all the uh, data that, that in all the information that are, are highly structured data. For instance, all the, um, the info boxes, the data for all the info boxes are taken from Wikibase, are presented in a graphical way to the user to see it, and they also include um, uh, information that are um, meaningful to SMW. As you can see on the right, this is just a stupid uh, example of uh, um, an info box where all the information are taken from the SB, SB, S, of the, oh, from the Wikibase repository installation. And each of the link you see there uh, is also an SMW property. Uh, you can realize this because you can see in one place there's an error because a, a property contains a dot. So that's that's something still to be fixed. But you can re even if you see, of course, nothing because to the users this is completely transparent. All of these data are taken from uh, Wikibase, presented to the user, and also presented to Semantic Media Wiki as structured data. Uh, how to do this? This is uh, again another fragment of uh, Lua coding. Uh, this, is, uh, a, um, um, this is a cycle that uh, cycle, cycle, cycles uh, through all the, the air date of a television episode, for instance. It takes uh, the, um, the date and it creates it as a, um, a value that can be passed to the info box just as a as a simple value to, to show to the user and also uh, here where I highlighted it it creates a um, it adds 
e um, semantic media wiki, wiki label in front of it in order for it to be to um, allow the SMW to add it as a property of the page. As you can see, I have a simple switch, a parameter that is called add semantic that at the beginning of the function that is not shown here, I can set true or false in order to use the same function both for uh, standard wiki text use or um, use it as a semantic one. So I am running now through the end as we are already almost over with the time. Of course, what I have presented you now is just uh, an, early, an early stage of, of the integration. I, as mentioned, I work on this on my free time and I started just a few weeks ago on work on this, but it still looks promising. Uh, a few things I need to work on, for instance, is to having a more complete uh, um, SMW property template, the template I shown you before that creates creates the SMW property automatically starting from data in, um, in Wikibase. Um, for instance, I want it to be paired automatically without saying the, without writing manually the P number into the template and also to be able to get more information from the Wikibase instance apart from the has type that of course is the more most important thing. And also, <clears throat> Uh, I want to automatically take um, uh, the proper uh, SMW property uh, starting from the wiki base, meaning not uh, adding the name of the SMW property here manually, but uh, translating the related wiki base property into the right uh, semantic media wiki. This is something that still remain to be done, but uh, at least uh, uh, I see that uh, the job we did up to now is the, um, uh, at least the foundation for all this uh, additional work. So, uh, sorry if I ran through it, but I needed to stay into the half an hour and I can say this is my last chart. So we have a few minutes, this is your turn, either to ask a few questions or to digitally throw rotten vegetables to me at your convenience. Thank you very much, Luca. So, are there any questions? Uh, someone just write, write oh, yeah, if URL. I can provide the new URL. I can, mm -hmm. and please note, we also uh, maintain a, a mirrored GitHub repository with all the Lua code we write into the into the wiki base, into the, in our wiki. So the code is directly available on GitHub as well. I prepared the, um, an extension that automatically takes all the modules from our wiki and send it to GitHub. Since our wiki is in Italian, it's uh, quite a niche one, but maybe the code might be, may, might be useful for other. So we maintain also a GitHub repository. Mm -hmm. uh, Sorry, I mean, while, while I was speaking, I missed a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, uh, the, people are thanking you for this excellent talk. And, and I, I also think so uh, sharing this, this experience is, I think, very interesting for both uh, Wikibase and also for the semantic media wiki community, because my, my experience uh, is the following. Those who, who, uh, who uh, go to Wikibase for their own purposes, when I talked to them, they didn't even know about Semantic Media Week or, or mm -hmm. they didn't even consider it. Mm. Uh, for, for example, the, the, the German National Library, they have a, a huge project going on and they're investigating in, into it. And also, I think the French National Library did a huge project uh, with, with public project reports. But Semantic Media Week is not even mentioned. So they didn't, I don't know why they did just discard it. Mm -hmm. So a, a, a really important learning, I think, is you looked at Semantic Media Week in the first place, but you thought it was not the right tool. Um, I have a little bit, I mean, I'm, the, I'm a Semantic Media Week guy. I have a little bit the impression your use case could so easily be solved with Semantic Media Week in the first place, mm -hmm. uh, uh, even without needing Lua. I've never used Lua. Uh, uh, okay. So um, Semantic Media Week has everything you need, but you, you of course, have to know a little bit about, your, you, know, you have to use page forms, you know. Um, so my idea maybe is just what came to my mind is maybe we should have this editing interface of Wikibase, so actually more the Wikibase client, not so much the storage, because people don't really care about the storage. They, they want this, this form-based input, 
that mm -hmm. we we using a lot with page forms, but now as this uh, well, wiki data interface becomes so popular, maybe we should add this, and it could be stored internally as wiki wiki uh, as semantic wiki, wiki properties that can then be queried, which is the power of semantic media wiki. Sure. So this is interesting, and uh, we have another talk about this coming up um, in. Uh, three quarters of an hour because there is a project called Semantic Wikibase uh, that actually does connect. Uh, 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 there is an extension out that connects uh, Wikibase and Semantic Media Wiki. So we have this coming up. Uh, I look at are there some more questions? How are your users handling the data entry interface? So you are entering data into Wikibase uh, into the, the, the Wikibase uh, instance uh, and the semantic media wiki is taking data from there. I am I do not use uh, uh, forms uh, as you yeah. previously mentioned. Yeah. I, I look at I looked at them, but as you mentioned, everything is quite new to me. So yeah, I still need to to, to have a lot of look at it in it. But the, the, the users input data into uh wiki uh, into the wiki base, the wiki base. Uh, yes yeah. for for massive data insertion where it is possible i prepared some uh, uh, automatically ap uh, automatically uh, interface with api of course for uh, massive data because actually our data came from an existing project that was not uh, wiki base based but database based okay it's a very long story uh, so I write some uh, some um, program to import data from there to Wikibase uh, via API, mm -hmm. uh, but basically the users are inserting data into Wikibase instance. Mm -hmm. There is another question, probably that's more to me. Where's Semantic Media Wiki storing its data? I have an, an announcement to make for that because to, to this evening at seven thirty there will be a panel discussion about alternative backends. So you will find out more. Basically, Semantic Media Wiki is storing its data. He has he has uh, he has an uh, only uh, uh, an own uh, storage mechanism. It's called SMW Store. It's basically storing it in the in the MySQL database. So the same database that Media Wiki uses. It just adds the tables there. But Semantic Media Wiki can also use Elasticsearch or several triple store databases if you have those. So this panel discussion today at half past seven will be exactly around this. But uh, if you don't set up Semantic Media Wiki with Elasticsearch or any triple store, you will use it with the SQL database. OK, Luca, thank you very much for this very interesting talk. I think there's a lot. Thanks to uh, you for, for, for hosting me. Yeah. Uh, I've, I think we have a, an Etherpad where I can write down some note for the yes. people who made some questions into the, into the chat. I will write you some information into the Etherpad so you can look at it if you're interested. Yeah, thank you very much.